Just take me back. What do you remember about uh, your whole recruitment process and what made you um, wind up choosing Ohio State? Man, it was hectic, man. It was, coaches come from everywhere. Uh, programs, great programs. Uh, I was thankful for their offers. Mm -hmm. I thought I thanked all the, the teams that gave me offers. It was just a blessing for my family and uh, this situation. And um, just breaking it down, we really visit almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we could have we got around the south because I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee, so everything's in hand reach, arm reach. And uh, we got around there and we just started trickling down. Uh, what I wanted to do, uh, that's what my parents did from the academic side. Mm -hmm. And from the standpoint of I wanted to win a championship. So it was just um, my parents, we, we broke it down to three. Out of any, ever, I could have won it anywhere. Um, out of three, it was Bama, Tennessee, and Ohio State. We just broke it down from three. Tennessee. It was a hard situation. Uh, coach Dooley recruited me at the time. Uh, then he left. They had a coaching change for Coach Brooks Jones. And uh, it was just my mom was like, it was just one of the best fit for me and my family at the time of what I want to be and what I want to become. It was between Alabama and Ohio State. I said, I want to play immediately and make immediate impact. Mm -hmm. If it could be a special teams or anything. And uh, the best fit for me and my family. And uh, I really believe in Coach Meyer and the coaching staff and the strength staff and the nutrition from, from academics up and uh, what can you do for me and provide for my family. And I think I made the best choice. I won national championship there. It was all American. And it was just, uh, you met a whole bunch of great people. Got to meet the president. Got to meet a, a bunch of veterans that taught me in the, the games, the ins and out. Got to meet with Chris Ash. Uh, he, he became a uh, my position coach there, Coach Everett Withers, uh, he's a head coach now, both of them head coaches now, Texas State and Rutgers, and good, uh, Coach Luke Fickle, Coach Mickey Marotti. And I just got to meet phenomenal people, and uh, it really molded me and created the man I am today. And I just really just thank them uh, every day. Um, God put me in a position to meet those people, so it was a blessing in my life and a great opportunity. A uh, learning standpoint too from uh, from Coach Meyer and the whole coaching staff and the whole Buckeye Nation. And just uh, what an honor to be a part of. And it was just a blessing. All right. So obviously you had a, a hectic recruitment. It sounds like. Mm -hmm. well, what uh? How did you feel about uh? You know this whole process of going through the draft. Did you think this was more hectic somehow, or or was this a little bit more relaxing for you because it was kind of out of your control? Yeah, it was out of my control. Uh, what you did on film it put you in a situation where you're going to be at. So it's just being blessed. Uh, you know, people calling your name. So it's just a blessing. Whoever calls your name is a blessing. And that's what God intended you to be at. So it's just what a blessing. It's just what a time to be here. So just being around a great group of guys, a great group of vets, and what you learn from your position coach. So it's just one again.